Hi, have you ever wanted to create an animated chart for your PowerPoint presentations? Something like this. Well, in this video, I am going to show you how you can create animated charts using really simple technique with PowerPoint. My name is Chendu and welcome to Chendu.org on YouTube. I normally talk about Excel and Power BI but uh, this is actually inspired from a question that my wife asked me the other day because she has got an upcoming presentation at work and she wanted to know how to get a graph that uh, kind of shows the animation so let's say some sort of a trend that changes over time and when you run the animation it will simply look like the line is going from one place to another and how do you get that turns out it is very very simple so in this video i will show you how to create a simple animation how to customize it and how to uh, you know enhance it uh, for various situations let's get into our powerpoint workbook so here is our how to make animated charts first i'm going to demonstrate the workbook or the presentation so here is our first example it's a coffee sales trend uh, workbook and you could uh, slide actually i keep saying workbook because uh, that's what i normally demo and uh, you could see that you know this line has kind of goes from um we can try this again and it changes so that's one animation got another example this is a column chart uh, where we are looking at trends by three different product groups coffee tea and cakes and how they have sold over time and then finally a pie chart i'm not a big fan of pie charts but uh, mm, you know something like this where uh, various sources of customers for our business and you know how they are coming by slices animated so how do you create these well, the easiest thing to do is uh, you can make the chart in either Excel or if you just have data, you can make the chart in PowerPoint itself. So I will add a new slide and then, so here is our new slide and uh, we will just say animated chart um, um, as the title. And, um, and in, the, in this area, you could see that there is actually a chart button. So you can click on that and you can pick any chart. So for example, you can say, Okay, I want a line chart and Excel PowerPoint will show you one of these charts. All these charts are same as your Excel chart. So you could potentially create the chart in Excel and copy paste or you can just make it here. So when you click OK, what this will do is it will make some sort of a default chart and it will give you a place where you can enter the data. This is basically just your Excel worksheet. But here uh, you just paste the data alone. So for the purpose of our coffee uh, trend thing, uh, you know, just a single line, we don't need those. So I'm going to delete that and actually adjust this uh, references. So there's only one um, uh, series. I think we need to delete everything. Otherwise, uh, it thinks there's actually four. So four values, category one, two, three, four. You could think of this as January, February, March, April or something like that. So this is our line chart. It is actually there but these grid lines and everything are making it super hard. So I'm just going to quickly disable the grid line so we can actually see the line is there, right? So once this is there, you just select the chart and then you go to animations and pick any animation that you want. For example, um, I think I've selected wipe animation, which is very good uh, because it can kind of wipe the chart. And uh, this animation, when you apply, it will animate the whole chart. So as it like, as if it's like one object, it will animate and it will wipe it from right to left. You can go to effect options on the animation. And from here, first I'm going to change this to left. So it will go from left to right. And then I will say, instead of as one object, we want it to do it by category. And that's it uh, our line is now animated and you could see that it's kind of going and drawing it like this and that's it uh, that's how you make an animated chart depending on what data you have what chart you create there are different options that are available um, but uh, let's just uh, preview this uh, we can go and uh, see this here the default behavior when you set it up as by category is what PowerPoint does is it will create an animation sequence where it each click or each press of a key 
it will animate one point so it will uh, animate again I have to click and then it will animate again and again so this might be useful for certain things so for example if you are running a presentation and you want to talk through various things you could do it like this if you don't want to click and you just want to run it like a, a sequence what you could do is you could enable the animation pane and uh, select the chart this will show all the animations attached so you could see that there are five animations here and each one is activated on click so that little mouse button is telling me that it's going to be on click all we have to do is select the except except the first one select all the other ones so for the first one we want to activate it by click for the other ones we just want to start after previous and specify a gap for example half a second or quarter of a second so whatever you want uh, that you can do that and that way it will it will wait for the first click and as soon as you click it will start the animation sequence so that is uh, how you can do you can also kind of customize this for example you could animate up to certain point and then wait for uh, some sort of a dramatic pause and explain something in your presentation and then click again and then the rest of the line can be animated so let me just show you how i have done the rest of these things so this is actually just a line chart what i have done is i've added a nice little title and applied uh, some chart design styles that are there inbuilt within powerpoint so i've used one of these styles i believe uh, and for this uh, it's a column chart so for this one because there is multiple series i have actually set up the animation uh, by element in series so that means uh, you know it will show all the january sorry all the coffee values all the um, tea values all the cake values and then it will do and this animation i'm using fade animation so you can kind of pick and use different styles for the animation and uh, some of them will work differently for example i'm just gonna copy this slide and paste it here and um, let's try uh, grow grow and turn you know this will basically create that kind of an effect uh, and then you can try this with that it will it will create a very um, you know I'm not a huge fan of this style of animation to be honest but uh, you definitely uh, try uh, something like that and it will show different things so depending on which animation you pick you will um, have the, those those kind of a things for example I can say this needs to be a box from out uh, and then um, if you reduce the duration also then that will uh, kind of um, show us how that will work so it will animate it like this so different animations will create different effects so for the pie chart again i've added the pie chart i've uh, then applied um, by category and that's it uh, if you do it as one object then everything will appear if you do it as by category then it will uh, pretty much um, for each slice is it will grow so if you play this you can see that that's the effect that we get and this is also applied with the, after previous uh, effect so once i click everything else kind of runs in a sequence and it will create that that effect let's uh, just now take a look at uh, some other ways of enhancing these things for example after i finish my pie chart i want to for example um make a point that uh, um, uh, our organic uh, customer group is the biggest one so what we could do is we finish that animation we can select that little slice alone and add another animation to emphasize that so uh, pulse that uh, and that we kind of add a pulse effect uh, to to our slices and uh, you will see that it has added uh, that effect to all of them so we need to now know exactly which one is uh, is pulsing so for example that one would be um i believe uh, that's the overall thing so i'll delete that uh, and then delete all of these other things so only this is remaining let's test this so only the organic slide will uh, slice will pulse so this is how you can kind of uh, emphasize one of the elements as well it kind of looks really cool when you present it so let's uh, select everything and play so we animate that and then the organic one pulses so that's it that's uh, 
that's it for me i hope you found uh, this particular uh, video interesting and useful uh, do tell me if you want to see more powerpoint related tricks especially with respect to data visualization and storytelling uh, i would love to share some of those techniques that i have picked up along the way as well uh, but yeah if you don't like this also just give it a comment and tell me um, if, if you're not a huge fan of this uh, uh, PowerPoint style tips and then I'll switch back to Excel as usual. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you again later. Bye-bye